हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सर्विस नाउ गाय आई एम गुंजन किरतकर ए सर्विस नाउ डेवलपर एंड माय मोटिव बिहाइंड द चैनल क्रिएशन इज टू स्प्रेड द नॉलेज रिलेटेड टू द सर्विस नाउ विद द लॉन्ग एंड शॉर्ट वीडियोस यू कैन रीच आउट टू मी ओवर लिंक्डइन और द ट्विटर फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ सपोर्ट रिगार्डिंग द सर्विस नाउ सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूज केस रिगार्डिंग द सर्विस नाउ एंड द ट्रांसफॉर्म मैप्स सो as you can see on the screen that uh, many times we have to import the data using the transform map into the tables of service now and because of that uh, the developer team or the support team needs to involve in such activities but what if we uh, make it automatically uh, that is for example suppose uh, the end user or the clients wants to import the data of the user or of the location or if any configuration item data into the service now instance then uh, what they generally do is they create one uh, excel file regarding the uh, location data or regarding the user data and after that they send that file to the developer or the support team and after that the support team uh, creates the transform map and load the data using the uh, using that transform map and the import set so uh, this process uh, keeps uh, happening on the repetitive manner so we need to sh uh, stop it somewhere and give some privilege to the end user as well so that they can also import the data uh, using the uh, catalog item into the service now so what exactly we can do is we will create one uh, catalog item in the first step and after that uh, we are going to create one data source and the transform map and we will create the schedule uh, import set for that particular uh, data source and then we will create one a uh, business rule on the ritm table that will copy that particular attachment from the ritm into the uh, data source uh, which we have created in the uh, second step and in that way it will automatically import the data into that particular table in the service now so let's move ahead and see how we can create it so i will just go to the maintain item table and we will first create one catalog item from here this catalog item uh, will be of uh, will uh, not have any kind of variables it is the empty if you want you can uh, put variables according to your requirement as well so now in this example we will import the data for the user table so i'm writing the name as import user data After that I am saving it and also opening this catalog from the uh, portal side as well. Okay here it is. Now as you can see that there is no access variable only the attachment uh, icon is here so after creating the uh, catalog item we will go ahead and create the data source as well so the data source under the uh, system import sets you can click on this data sources from here click on the new button give the proper name data source for user table
okay then click on save button after that uh, i have one created a uh, demo excel file which is this and i'm uh, putting two user data user id name and the email id from here and i'm attaching that excel file in this uh, data source so that we will get the uh, user record and it will create the staging table as well and insert the proper column names according to that excel file so once we attach that excel file to this data source just click on load all records so that it will create all the columns which are present into that excel file into the staging table okay the uh, i choose the wrong format so this is the excel format now we will save it and then load all record okay so two records are inserted then in the next step we will create the transform map by clicking on this create transform map so it is transform user data target table it is user Okay, save it and then we will click on the auto map matching fields as it will directly map those fields to this is user table so for the three fields email user ID and the name the it, it maps with the target fields as well so in the next step we will create the schedule import for this because we wanted to make it as a, a on the automatic basis so we will go to the schedule imports and from here we will create the new schedule import data the data sources which uh, we have just now created uh, data source for the user table this one okay and after that we will uh, click on uh, we will uncheck this active checkbox as we don't want to run it uh, on the daily basis or on the weekly basis according to this so we will run it from the business rule which we are going to write uh, write down on that particular ridm table so and after that just click on the execute post import script and we are going to delete a uh, whatever excel file we are attaching to that particular data source so that whenever uh, in the next time whenever any user is going to attach any new excel file to that uh, record then there is uh, no as such conflict of excel file so there is always new file attached to that particular data source so in order to delete that we will use the uh, one at attachment method which is the glide sys attachment then attach dot delete all and the data source So it is where attach is equal to new glide sys attachment 
and attach it or delete all data source okay just save it after that in the last step what we can do is we will create one business rule on the uh, RITM table so that uh, whenever we attach that particular attachment for, for that catalog item it will uh, create the RITM right so we need to copy that RITM attachment from that RITM into the data source table as well so that we can uh, directly uh, uh, run the data uh, import site and it will run the transform map and load the data into the service now user table now copy attachment from ritm to source crq item then click on this advanced tab and it is after insert and we are going to write down this uh, for the particular dedicatedly uh, catalog item so we are restricting this with that catalog item import user data okay now in the script section we have to write down the script uh, to save the time i have written down the script here itself and i'm copying this script from here into this business rule um, basically what we are doing from this script is uh, we are basically copying the uh, attachment from this scrq item to the data source we have to specify the csid of that data source uh, in this place so where exactly that data source is let me go to the data sources okay copy csid then i have paste the csid here then after that what we are doing is we have to uh, paste the uh, schedule import set csid in this place so this is the schedule data import so we are copying this csid from here and we are pasting it into here okay and we are executing that particular um, import set uh, because of that only uh, we keep this active as a false and we are triggering it from this business rule so just save it okay now everything is in the place we will go to the sys user table to check how many records are there currently so total 652 records are there and i will sort it using the create it as well yeah, let me run this particular catalog item i'm attaching the demo user file here and then order now okay check out just refresh this page okay 654 records are there okay you can see that these two records are get uh, getting inserted from that particular catalog item with the name with the user id and with the email id so uh, you can use this particular uh, catalog item kind of things uh, and the uh, scenario to 
automate the uh, import set to automate the transform map and you can implement the uh, same kind of implementation uh, to your client as well so that uh, there is no need of uh, manual work from now onwards you can uh, simply create one catalog item and ask them to attach that particular uh, excel file to that catalog item and uh, just submit it or the order order it from the portal and that uh, data is going to insert into this table i hope this video finds you helpful thank you so much for watching it